Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the September BAM Box Pop Culture, or they're just calling it BAM Pop Culture. This used to be the BAM Original, or BAM Box Original. Um, they're going with the pop culture thing now, so that's what it is. That's what it's technically going to be called, so I need to switch what I'm doing for the title for these videos. But um, this is coming a little bit late. Not crazy late, because I know they had said that they had much like the last one where it was the, um, well, go back and watch that unboxing video and you'll see what the prop replica was that was, that delayed the box on that one for the August original box. Um, it was worth it to wait because it was a really good prop. Uh, they said it's kind of the same thing with this. That's why it was held up was the prop again, but they say they believe it's definitely worth the wait. So we'll see about that. I don't really remember all that many properties for this one. Also, real quick, if you have interest in their horror box, I did the unboxing for the September uh, Bandbox Horror already, posted it some days ago, so go back and check out that video. That was a good box. That was a nice box, and I also got the full art upgrade for that, which means all the art prints and all the pins, which I was super excited about, so check it out, at least for that reason. So let's get into the September BAM Pop Culture. Tissue paper for my cat, who's actually is walking around somewhere. I just saw her cross under my table. Um, ba -ba! This is pretty sweet. I got another one-up. I like it. One-ups are sweet, man. One-ups are sweet. I, they, they're like constantly changing colors, though, so I don't know. Does that matter? Does it mean anything? I still don't know that. Okay, so I'm feeling the prop replica. Whatever it is, it's like really heavy. It's like this huge pendant. <laughs> okay, so actually this is the one property I kind of did remember. And I, yeah, I see what this is. So this is from, correct me if I'm wrong. Well, I'll be able to correct myself with the spoiler sheet. But this is the, um, I did not get like a ton of glare on it. This is the like the top of the staff from um, Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's what it was. I was like, Indiana Jones something? Yeah, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, and you can even see it has like the slot down there where it kind of slots into the staff. And this is where like the sun had to come through uh, this window in a certain way and it would kind of like point on this big like diorama of buildings like where the Ark was going to be. Yeah. I mean, it's been a long time, so I don't know if it looks exactly like it or super like it. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen that, but it is really heavy. Like, much like with all their metal stuff, gets heavy. All right, put it back in there. That's cool. I'm not, you know, I'm not like a huge Indiana Jones person, so for me, that in particular, I mean, I might look for someone else who wants it, but um, okay. All right. I don't think, I don't know if this is like a limited, limited one, but for the pin, this one's done by Brian Romero, did the design, and it is Batman. Do people like Batman? I like Batman. Love the pins. His lips look a little odd in that, but other than that, I like the kind of like purple. Yeah, it's definitely a purple. I like it's like a dark purple for his cowl, and then like this kind of light purple right there on the top of his suit. It looks good. I like those colorations. I'm gonna check to see if there's a number on this, and then I'll know if it's out of 250 or 99 or something. Nope, this is a normal one. So my one up had to be for either autograph or art print, which, cool, I'm down with it. All right, this is the, all right, well, that's the autograph. I don't want to do that yet, because I usually do the autograph last. I didn't see what the autograph is. I just saw it said autograph. Okay, so here's the art print. Uh, this is from their fan art co collection, and it is done by Jason Oakes. Oh, yeah, this looks good. I like this. And this is my, uh, this is my one up because it's out of 500. I got number 337 out of 500. If people can't tell, that is P the Predator from Predator, the movie, uh, the original with Arnold, Arnold. Um, so I like, I'd be interested to see what the regular one is. I'm gonna guess it's it's the same 
uh, artwork, but in a different color. So this is cool to me because it's kind of like the heat um, or like the infrared, which you see in the Predator movie. Like they legitimately have that infrared going on when he when the Predator's like watching people. You can see him tracking through the through the jungle. So that's cool. I like that take on it. That's nice. I'm gonna put that up. Good job, Jason Oaks. That looks nice. Yeah, I like it. All right, then the autograph. Do, 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 do. Okay, interesting. So this is signed by Morgan Lofting. Oh, she did some voices. She has done the voices of GI or for GI Joe and GI Joe the movie for Baroness. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, it's about time we get a we get a bad guy up in one of these boxes. Someone who was a bad guy. I know some time ago, um, in their original box, they had uh, it was the woman who who had voiced in the Batman animated series, uh, Poison Ivy. So that was cool. That was another situation of getting a bad guy. So I like when they do that. Uh, Baroness is a cool one. I did watch GI Joe when I was a kid, but I it, it's not like a fandom for me anymore. Um, some cartoons are like I still, I still like Thundercats. Even though people have told me numerous times, if you actually watch Thundercats right now, it's actually not good. It's kind of crappy. But I'm like, you know what? Even if I watch it now, I'm gonna be like, I loved it so much when I was a kid, and that's all that matters. So no, this is cool. I like that. I don't think I'll display it just because, like I said, like I don't have a GI Joe fandom going on. But whatever. And then the spoiler sheet, which we'll take a look at. Okay, so the Indiana Jones headpiece to the staff of Ra, that's by Dark Matter Props, which I think Dark Matter Props has been doing all of them. So here you see it. There it is. Not like you really need to see it because you already saw the one I got. So uh, the autograph. Uh, there were a few options. The out of 99 is really cool, actually, but they're all pretty cool. Let me see that. That one is out of 99. Looks nice. And there she is with Destro. Yes, I remember. I remember the names. Uh, yep, I was right about the um, the regular art print for Predator. Same, same piece of artwork, but just different coloration. Looks good. So honestly, you can't lose with getting either of them, because it's the same, just different color. Is this one where, you know... Mm, yeah, I think I think there have been many times where I'm just like I don't really care the the color difference. It doesn't make that much of a difference to me. In this instance, I think it is one where I I do legitimately like the rarer one more um, because of how it ties into the movie with the infrared. I like that. Uh, and then with the pins, oh okay, the out of ninety nine is really sweet. That the two two fifty is is really nice too. Look at that, Batman, Joker, and Bane. Not just Bane, Tom Hardy's Bane. Uh, it, and it looks like they were trying to make this Jared Leto's, or I'm sorry, oh my god, not Jared Leto. Jared, Le Jared Leto's Joker was awful, as we all know. Um, Heath Ledger's uh, Joker from um, Dark Knight. Definitely, because it looks like, yeah, because you can see like right there, it's kind of like the nurse's uniform, because you remember when he was dressed up like a nurse. Yeah, so that's obviously what this is. Yeah, it's cool. Um, then they have their little thing about the golden tickets being dispersed throughout boxes, yada, yada. And the giveaway, ooh, this is a good giveaway, actually, uh, for this month, well, for September, was a signed Venom photo signed by Tom Hardy himself. That's pretty awesome. Whoever gets that, that's sweet. And it looks good. Like, look at this Venom on there. Yeah, man. That Venom looking sweet. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Oh, and for a clarifier, I don't think I've ever said this before, but for these giveaways, you you can't just do it. Like, you can do it through their Facebook page, but you have to have bought that box. So you have to have gotten this pop culture box for September in order to do this contest. So I don't, I don't think I've ever said that before, but kind of have to say that. Anyway, um, overall, the box, good. I mean, for me in particular... There's not a ton that I'm that I'm gonna display. I always have a place to put my pins. Um, I just have like a big cork board. Um, so actually, I can pull it up as long as I don't damage it. 
See, this is what I do. I can't even fit it all in there, but you can see. Can I? There you go. There I can. So I've kind of like, you know, put it in some areas. Like I try to put all my horror stuff that I like a lot up in this section. This is kind of like non-related pins that are done by other companies. Uh, but the Royal majority's BAM. This is kind of like ones that I, I like, but they're not related to horror. And then this is ones that... Um, some of them I, I like and some of them I don't like, also not related to horror. So I started doing them on both sides because I wanted some sort of like, I would, not necessarily symmetry, but like a little bit of um, distribution between the two. I didn't just want to have everything on one side or diagonal or whatever. So, But you can see, that's some really awesome pins on there. Oh, look at all those horror pins. All that. Yeah. Yeah. So there, you can pause on there and, and look at all those pins if you want to, but that's what I do with my pins. So they always get displayed no matter what I get. So that I will do that. I will put this art print up. I will definitely put this art print up because, you know, I don't have any Predator stuff on display. I don't. Although, uh, they should do pins for Predator. That would be really awesome. I would like that. Uh, other than that, I don't think I'm going to display the other stuff. I'll try and maybe find a person who might want the other things. They're good. They're they're good. They're well done, but you know. Anyway, uh, thank you for checking out this unboxing. Please, please, please hit the subscribe. Uh, I noticed looking at analytics, uh, like 92% of people who watch these videos, uh, particularly the Bambox unboxings, do not subscribe. So I would really like to see that kind of change a little bit. Because um, like I say all the time, it takes you literally like a second to hit that subscribe and it's not a pain for you but it could really help me out. So if you've enjoyed what you saw, even a little bit of it, please hit that subscribe. If you want to know when I'm putting up new videos, you can also hit the notification bell. Uh, other than that, put some comments down here. Let's talk about nerdy stuff. Did you get this box? What'd you get? What do you like? What don't you like? Whatever, whatever you want to talk about. Or if you just want to start throwing stuff out and be like, hey, you know what cartoons I really loved when I was young and I still love, or what cartoons I loved and I realize now I, they're not good. We can talk about that too, but uh, give me some thumbs up. You can do thumbs down if you want, up to you. I don't care if you like it or if you don't like it. But anyway, thanks again for checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.